Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three steps. Yeah, you heard me right. Three steps to creating a breakthrough in your purchase business without begging, chasing, bribing, kissing ass, or cold calling. I know that sounds like a bold, audacious, and seemingly too good to be true promise, but that's just because you're doing it the hard way and you're used to it being hard. You're used to it to it being some kind of an enigma. You're used to it being the dynamic where the realtor is uh, towing the line in terms of the power and the dynamic and the relationship is such that you need them more than they need you, such that you become their you know, proverbial loan bitch and they're towing you around by the proverbial nose and you have no power in the relationship because you're a replaceable cog in the wheel. We got to flip that script, friends. We got to flip the script so that they need you more than you need them. We got to get the power back. We got to get you owning the power in the relationship so that you have the cookie, not the other way around. So if that sounds good to you, you've definitely come to the right place to listen on how to do exactly that. We've been iterating this for the last 15 years. We got this down to a freaking science. No more messing around doing it the hard way. No more hoping, wishing, praying it's going to pan out. We don't smoke the hope dope here, friends. Hope is great. If you're in prison, it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan, does it? Screw freaking hope. Let's get you knowing, not hoping. So let's dive into this, shall we? Let's talk about the three steps to creating a breakthrough in your purchase business. All right. The first step is this. Target the right realtors. Target the right realtors. Only the top dogs. If you're going to roll with people that are giving you business that you're relying on for your livelihood, you might as well roll with champions, not chumps, winners, not whiners, studs, not duds. Let's get you working with people that have the highest capacity to send you the most amount of business most often. Those who are kicking ass and taking names who own the lion's share of the, uh, the, lion's share of the inventory and who own the lion's share of the market why would you waste your time and energy chasing the bottom feeders, the whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating low producers who have no business, they have no influence, they have no leverage, they have no database, they have no market share? Why? And yet we see this time and time again in the mortgage space because let's be real, it's less audacious to go after the newbies. They're happy to talk with anyone with a pulse who could fog a mirror who wants to help them. They're happy to invest their time with you. So it's a great way to coddle your comfort zone and to protect your inner child from rejection. Because let's be real, we as human beings, we don't like to feel rejected, do we? You don't, I don't, none of us do. So it's a way that we coddle and comfort and protect our inner child. But at the end of the day, do you really want to waste your time, your energy, your bandwidth, and potentially your money? on people who aren't worth your gift, who aren't worth your time, where you're just treading water going nowhere. You're just throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks with people that frankly don't have the capacity to take you where you want to go. Is that really a sound and smart marketing plan? I don't think so. If you're going to invest your gift in someone, invest it in someone who's worth your time, your energy, and your life force to actually pursue. If you want to be a winner, roll with winners. If you want to soar with eagles, you got to show up and be an eagle. And obviously, you don't want to be scratching around in the chicken yard with the chickens. Well, the low producers, unless they're on the up and up and they have a track record of success in other careers and they've left a wake of awesome in another career, chances are you're going to be anchoring yourself to a chomp instead of a champ. Why do that when you don't have to? But Doran, these top producers, they won't give in the time of day. They won't even answer my phone. They tell me I'm already married to my current lender. I'd love to work with a top producer, Dorn, but I don't know how they're, they're not giving me the time of day and they keep rejecting me. Yes, exactly. That's because you're doing it the hard way. You don't have a kick-ass value proposition. You're just offering great rates, great service. Throw me a bone. You've got a lackluster, weak value proposition, and it's not your fault. No one taught you, right? It's like, you know, you came in this business, they teach you how to find a home for the loan, how to package the deal, how to collect documents, how to, you know, get everything done from A to Z. They don't teach you how to kick ass as a marketer, do they? So it's not your fault. And then, of course, you know, 99.9% .9 of the business owners, the uh, corporate company owners and the sales managers out there are getting you doing it the hard way 
cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday saying that's the secret sauce to success. I don't think so. Seriously, it's the 21st century. Let's get with some technology. Let's use some leverage. I liken it to try to build the foundation for a skyscraper. And obviously to do that, you need to build, dig a big ass hole, right? The deeper you dig that hole, the higher you can build your skyscraper. And you're trying to dig that hole with a gardening trowel. That's doing it the freaking hard way. You know, grinding it out in the hot sun, doing all that back breaking work. And that's the best we can come up with is cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday. That's a gardening trowel at best. It's not even a shovel. It's a gardening trowel. I suggest the excavator. It's a lot more fun. It's a lot more fruitful and it's a lot more fulfilling. So it's about using technology, using leverage, leveraging your time, using automation, using systems, but none of that's going to work if you're chasing after the wrong people. So set your sights high. Most people don't get what they want because they don't know what they want and they don't feel worthy of success. They don't feel capable of success. Same thing here with these top dogs. It's like Henry Ford said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. If you don't believe you're capable and worthy of rolling with champions, well then obviously you're right. If, you're cap if you believe you're capable and worthy of rolling with champions, then you're right. It's all about what's happening in the three pounds of meat between your two ears. And at the end of the day, you decide whether or not you believe you can or you can't. At the end of the day, you're the author of your own story. You're either an extra in your own story, you're either an extra on the sidelines in the dark room of obscurity, just watching the game happen, or you're the freaking star in your own movie and you're in the limelight and you're kicking ass and taking names because life is too short not to be the star. That's what I'm talking about. So let's target the top producers, but we can't just target the top producers. We got to have the words that work, the right bait. We need the right bait for the right critters. So if you don't have the right value proposition, if you're ill-equipped and unequipped with the right words that work with the right value proposition, and most importantly, with the right actual delivery on those promises, delivery on what you're claiming you can do for them, then obviously none of this is going to amount to a hill of beans if you can't deliver. So it's one thing to make bold and big promises. It's another thing to be able to deliver. So you need to be able to have a system of delivering killer, kick-ass, unique value, right? The question is, what is that? What is that unique value? I'll tell you what it's not. It's not offering great rates and great service. If you want to be a replaceable cog in the wheel, that's a great way to do it. If you want to just follow the herd and just be another Joe Schmo low leech, LO, then that's a great way to do it. But if you want to stand out as being unique and compelling and be a breath of fresh air for these top producing agents, you've got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. You've got to have a kick-ass, unique value proposition that makes you irreplaceable, indispensable. And I'm here to tell you, it ain't going to be just because you close the loans on time. That might be a great start, but I would definitely not stop there. That's a minimum expectation just to be in business, if you ask me. I mean, come on now. Do you think someone's going to switch from their current lender to you just because you close loans on time? Maybe if they're disgruntled, but that's going to be the exception as opposed to the rule. If you want to tip the scales of fortune in your favor, we need to have more firepower in your arsenal. We need to have something a heck of a lot more compelling. Otherwise, you're just another me too, Joe Schmo LO. They offer great rates, me too. They offer great service, me too. They close loans on time, me too. What the heck is that going to do to get you on the top of the stack as the only logical choice? I'll tell you, zero. You know it and I know it. That's why you're watching or listening to this. So we need to have a kick-ass value proposition. And I'm here to tell you also that it needs to be something that helps your real estate agents, your partners. I like to call them your VIP partners who qualify, makes them more successful, helps them close more deals with less time, energy, and effort, helps them get more listings, sell them faster for top dollar, helps them rise to the top of Google with more five-star reviews than any of your, their competitors so they leave their competition in the dust so that they get all the clicks, calls, and cash instead of their competitors so that they own more of the market share, so help them get more leads at their open houses, help them convert more of those leads in, into closed deals, help them mine the gold from their database. You get the idea positioning yourself as a marketing partner versus just a loan leech like everyone else. Does that make sense, guys? So that's the second step. 
use the right bait. And the third step, once you have targeted the right realtors with the right bait is you need to take them through the right process. And what you don't want to do is what most mortgage pros do, which is talking about how great they are, how they're the best thing since sliced bread, blah, 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 and just show up and throw up with all the crap about what they do and what they can offer. That's how not to do it. Just like in the dating world. Could you imagine if you're in the dating world and you're trying to, you know, find your, your significant other, your soulmate, and all you do at the first date is just blabber about yourself? How well do you think that's going to go? Not too well, right? Some of you know that intimately because you've either had that experience or you know someone who's had that experience. So you don't want to be that guy or gal who's like a complete nimwit and a complete weirdo and just shows up and throws up and does a data dump and, you know, repels people by virtue of you talking about yourself instead of what I'm a proponent of. Diagnose first, prescribe second. Diagnose first, prescribe second. Just like if you go to the doctor and the doctor just talks about themselves the whole time, they don't ask you any diagnostic questions. And then at the end of it, they just write down a prescription for some bullshit prescription without even diagnosing what you have. That's what I call malpractice. That's what anyone would call malpractice. And yet many mortgage professionals are committing malpractice in their business because of this mal approach. Malo, Espanol. Malo, muy malo. You don't want to do that. Instead, get into the world. What is their biggest challenge, their biggest pain point? What keeps them up at night? What, where are they leaving money on the table? Where is their marketing engine losing steam? What are their goals? Where are they now? What's the gap? You want to identify the gap and the pain points. And then here's the kicker. Here's the difference between having this be theory and having this actually work in the real world. You need to be able to have the acumen, the expertise, and the systems, the tools, and the solutions to be able to fill those gaps for them. It's not enough just to diagnose. Anyone can just ask a bunch of questions and diagnose pain. But it takes an expert. It takes a true marketing professional to be able to actually prescribe a cure for what ails them, to be able to match the right prescription to the right malady, and to be able to bridge that gap. And when you're able to do that and show them you're not just another loan leech, but you're actually irreplaceable and indispensable, not just one of the one trick pony solution, but a multitude, a full quiver of kick-ass value added solutions no one else is bringing. Now you flip the script. Now they need you more than you need them. Now you have the cookie. Now you're in the power position. Now you become irreplaceable and indispensable. We flipped the script entirely. You guys get that? So that's the game changing shift. But you might be thinking at this point, Doran, I don't know how to do that. I get the principle and I like it. It makes sense. I'm picking up what you're putting down. The, the question is, how do I do that? What are these solutions? What are these tools? What are these campaigns? Well, that's precisely why people hire us. So they don't have to mess around blundering around, stepping on landmines, waking, wasting time, energy, and money trying to figure this st stuff out on their own. They're like, screw freaking that. I just want to stick my key in the ignition and drive away. I don't want to waste painstaking time, energy, effort, and money trying to figure this thing out on my own. Because I understand that based on my experience, it's much more costly to pay for my own mistakes than to hire an expert and avoid all those mistakes. And that's precisely the kind of mortgage professional we work with. Someone who's just sick and tired of doing it the hard way. They're sick and tired of trying to wing it, reinvent the wheel. They're sick and tired of throwing yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks. They're sick and tired of showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife, unequipped and ill-equipped. They're just done with that. And so if that's you and you'd like to learn the secret sauce on how to do this the smart way as opposed to the hard way, and you don't want to mess around trying to reinvent the wheel, and you're defiantly committed to not just making a small incremental improvement to your income, but we're talking a breakthrough at least double your income, at least add an extra 100K or more to your income. Like we're talking a stratospheric breakthrough, going meteoric, pouring gasoline on this freaking fire and really step into abundance money, freedom money, cabin on the lake money, whatever that means to you, as opposed to just living in, I can't afford a prison or get by prison where you're just getting by, you're just making do. Scoop freaking making, making do. I'm talking about making history, not making do, creating a legendary legacy, stepping into the abundance you're called to and you're committed to and your family deserves. If that's you and you know in your heart 
that you've been doing it the hard way. And you know that if you could just get a little more clarity on the right direction to go and to have some grooves to stick your wheels into and to have someone give you a proven plan and tell you step by step, do this, do that. And you can just hustle in the right direction. You know you can double or triple your income because you believe in yourself. You see the champion in you, you see the winner in you. You just need some clarity and the right structure and support and system to unleash your power. If that's you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. Go ahead and book it at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And what that'll allow you to do is get onto my calendar or one of my consultants calendars and we'll get together. We'll have an honest conversation, just have a real deal conversation from the heart of where you're at right now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create that breakthrough and bridge that gap, we'll show you how and what that looks like. And if we can't, frankly, I'll be the first or we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Real. I'm not talking about spoon feeding or force feeding a solution to someone who doesn't need it. We only work with people who we can help. And we only work with people who are definitely committed to their breakthrough that we absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt we can help. And we, frankly, don't make an offer to at least 20% of the people we talk to because we're just not the right fit or it's not the right timing. So when I say that, I mean that. If we can't help you, we'll let you know. If we can, we will. Either way, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll even have a, some giggles and have some fun along the way. So if that sounds good to you, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. It's just a honest conversation, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, getting real with where you are and where you want to be, and to give you some clarity, illuminate with more lucid clarity than you ever have before what it's really going to take to step into that freedom money, that abundance money that you know in your heart you're capable of. So if that sounds good to you, book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, y'all, we just talked today about the three steps to creating a breakthrough in your purchase pipeline. You need the right target market, which is the top dogs. You need the right kick-ass unique value proposition, and you need the right process diagnose first, prescribe second, and create exclusivity so that they need you more than you need them and so that you can be in the power position. No more being interviewed. Now you're interviewing them. No more chasing. Let them chase you. So if that sounds good to you, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. This is Doran Aldana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Be blessed. Be well. We'll see you on the other side on the next episode. Peace.